Hello, hello, my lovely Leos. Do me a favor and put your paws up top. Meow. It's great to see you guys. I love you. I love you. Thank you for the energy. I'm giving you some energy right back. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. This is your love reading for the week. Please take the parts that resonate for you. Leave the stuff that doesn't. If nothing resonates in your sun sign, definitely check um, my older readings on this Leo-only channel. Okay, my name is Isa, by the way. This is the Mystic Leo. Um, and if you want to check your other placements, I do have another channel. That's my original channel. It's linked down below in the description box, okay? Um, like I said before, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Feel free to flip and reverse the roles. Um, and please, guys, don't forget to like by putting your little paw, boom, right on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell on the top so you can find your way back when I'm posting new content. And um, comment down below. I always love talking to you, babies, okay? I'm so in the mood. I'm so in the mood. Hey, Satch. She's really into the Christmas decorations. She's like sitting down here sniffing the, the stocking. I, I don't know. Sachi's my cat for those of you who are new here. Okay, let's get the overall energy. We have six of cups. This better not be this damn person from the past. I really don't want to be like, y'all, guess what? Here they go. Here come again. Right, Dolly Parton? Wasn't one of her songs from like 1970 or something? I don't know. Anyway, okay, overall energy, please, for Leo. Thank you. Yep, there's some incoming messages. Like I said before, this could be somebody from your past. It's, it's potential. You know why I say that? Because this is a love reading as I fully have disclosed already. Okay, so uh, I feel like somebody wants to talk. They're feeling emotional. You could be having some apologies or something like that coming through. Um, somebody could be thinking about you. Um, this person could definitely be at a distance for you. If this is not a love reading for you, then apply it where it makes sense in your life, okay? Let's see what else is going on. Talk to me about the recent past for Leo, please. The recent past. Let's just go there recent past um for those of you who want to know what deck this is it's not listed below it's by isabella rotman and it's called the this may hurt tarot okay this may hurt tarot looks like this on the back it's really like a, a special order type thing okay i don't know if she has any in stock but people ask me about this card a lot okay there we go what else Okay, tell me about the current energy, please. Current energy, please. And love for Leo. And the near future, please show me the near future. What's coming in the near future? Okay, give me one second here, guys. I'm almost done. Near future, please. <clears throat> give me the challenge. And how about a potential outcome for this one today? Potential outcome. Okay. All right. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles. You guys are really focused on your financial situation right now, Leo. Okay. Um, and also, um, like... It's coming to me as upgrade, but it's not necessarily that. Some of you are really working on your appearance, right? You're getting in better shape. You're getting in better health. Uh, it could be something that triggered this. It could just be the end of the year, but I feel like you're really focused on your home, uh, the things in the tangible world, right? Like getting things or working for things, saving money, okay? Things that are going to last. So you're thinking in very logical, long-term type of vibe here, okay? Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Mm -hmm. Somebody's been watching you. Okay, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be a former lover here with the lover's card, Gemini energy. And we have Leo as well at the bottom of the deck. And we have the Queen of Wands. So here's what I'm saying. Y'all, I could literally read the whole bottom of this deck, Queen of Swords. It looks to me like you potentially cut somebody off here, but this person is still watching you. Okay, Page of Swords. 
What they admire most and they like about you is uh, the fact that you are loyal to them, that you show this incredible strength. So literally this person in their own way, Leo, I feel like they just sort of look up to you, right? They look to you to support them, to help them, to be there for them in some sort of way, okay? So apply it however it goes for you, all right, Leo? But you did something this person did not expect for you to do, and you cut them off because you're in this Queen of Wands energy, okay? Really thinking about yourself and not in a selfish way, in the sense that is this a good thing for me or is this not a good thing for me, okay? Here they are king of wands okay some of you might be in positions where you're like um bosses you have to be in a control and a powerful or you're showing up very powerfully to this person and that's part of what they admire but they do love your soft side with the lovers okay there was some sort of twin flame and or spiritual connection with this person and they're still very much connected to that like i can feel that and either you're still inspiring this person or you have in the past. And this is something they're having a problem of letting go of. Okay. Yep, we got the Empress Six of Wands. They just see you like in full success mode. Okay. Full blown success mode. You make this person want to do. You make them want to work for themselves because this person I think is normally lazy, right? Or um, unmotivated, but because you are who you are, this person uh, is motivated by you, okay? So even if in the recent past here, they have not explained to you that you, uh, you are somebody who inspires them to be a better version of themselves. I really feel that this person sees you that way, whether they've said it or not, even if they've been mean to you, okay, deep down, because I'm not reaching into the surface uh, energy here. I'm reaching as far as I got my reaching, okay, reaching. In the recent past, the sun, the hanged man, the five of wands. This person coming into your life was very important here, okay? Because we have the sun and because we have the hanged man. This person came to teach you how to let go of things, okay, Leo? However, you were happy with them, right? But there started to, you started to... It, it, digress in this connection okay because we're going from 19 to 12 to 5 this progressively seems to have gotten worse over time it went from being everything okay leo you could have been dealing with a leo a pisces aries leo sag here all right it went from being everything to being what the fuck happened here hello what happened here all right the numbers decrease. It went from being, I know this is it, right? It being illuminated. I, I know, I feel this to the hangman. I'm not quite sure about this. Uh, this is starting to look a little funky to the five of wands. Okay, there's all sorts of shit that's happening here, right? Coming up in this particular connection. You or this person had some jealousy issues. There may have been other people involved here, outside sources. It could have been just energies of people, family, um, an another person in the connection, opinions of people, right? People are starting to get not only into your head, but maybe into into this person's head so please take it as it resonates that's what i mean by swapping the stories the sides whatever it is okay you will know what this is for you is a lot of arguments a lot of fighting here a lot okay and i feel this became very difficult for you because you just wanted to be in the sun energy where you feel reborn and you feel happy and you feel light and you feel free okay now in the current energy oh boy um you know you are really very much looking toward the future here we have the high priestess pisces energy again the three of wands right you're looking toward the future and you're waiting for something okay two of wands uh 
is saying to me it's in reverse though this feels like something that you let go of you you're no longer at this crossroads with this particular person and what you want to do with this situation you've listened to your intuition here so i feel like you're moving forward in the future okay there's a lot of different things on the horizon but you're waiting for something so we're going to clarify and get more information now in the near future we have the emperor the four of cups and the death card I feel to some degree this is a fully letting this go okay this is like you've changed a lot your situation is changing so much here in the future uh, and you're def you're like letting this go and not really looking back okay because this four of cups here is this the cups are behind this person and there's a cup coming in here so for me that's a brand new love because that is literally the ace of cups we have the emperor aries energy and we have scorpio here with the death card but death talks about ending things and things in our life changing because we've had important lessons right we've had losses by this point in the journey in the tarot we've gone from the highs to now the lows okay but in the future here it looks to me like there's either somebody coming in your life that is going to completely change what you thought about um you know relationships in the past maybe some of your beliefs or something like that but you know, this feels more like you kind of standing tall after a lot of this, okay? I don't know. We'll see if you end up with somebody here. But I feel this person wanting to come in and say something to you. Somebody wanting to talk to you about something, okay? And your challenge is the Ten of Swords. I mean, kind of easy here. You know, you want to release the pain, the heartache, whatever the lies that this person told you definitely lies a lot of mind fuckery and a lot of games here okay you're dealing with somebody who was very jealous so i feel like this person kind of kept you stuck a little bit at times okay especially because we have that hangman there all right guys what do i want to clarify what? okay i will clarify with this let's talk about why the six of cups is here with the eight of wands are these all upside down? Mm, okay, let's flip that around. Alrighty then. <laughs> I try not to be too goofy today. Alright, I'm trying to focus. Sometimes, sometimes when I crack too many jokes, you know. But I will say this. He was man enough for me. That's the vibe I'm getting off of this. Yeah. What are you thinking? Do you know about your husband? <laughs> Do you know about us back then? Girlfriend, I ain't thinking about him. <laughs> All right, what's the Six of Cups? Then, girl, didn't he tell you to If not, then why don't you ask him? Now I gotta hear that song. <laughs> <laughs> all right six of cups eight of wands what's going on with this please thank you clarify that for me by the way i have coffee hmm breakfast of champions it's not morning time though okay that's sort of boiling hot we have the queen of swords yeah somebody who wants to talk okay eight of wands why is that here clarify the eight of wands what is this yeah, somebody wants to tell you that they're, they know now, okay? They're very clear. Uh, they want to, part of this person, whoever this is, they want to know why you cut them off, okay? I don't know what the reasoning, we'll see when we look to the past, but I think that this person really wants to talk about why, like all the things that happened in the past. Be careful of this person trying to, get you nostalgic of like why y'all fell in love in the first place and all this other stuff okay because something's definitely up here with this however um this person does love you and they want to say that you make them feel emotionally fulfilled okay so this person is coming in hot and heavy it could be text messages they may be traveling to see you something like that okay let's talk about why we have the sun the hangman and the five of wands please why is this here in the recent past yeah 
you were really in love with this person. What else? Why is this here? Okay. This person wasn't offering you very much here with the Page of Pentacles, all right? And I feel like you were trying to maybe show this person or teach this person, this is how I need to be loved. Um, this person may have not had a lot of money or things like that. I, I feel like... <sighs> You, this person came into your life, Leo, at a time when you were very driven to move forward, okay, with the chariot. Could be a cancer person, too, but I feel like this person just didn't have a lot to offer you, so it made them feel insecure, and then a lot of, like, jealousy issues and trying to kind of keep you stuck is what happened here until this person was ready to build up the will and the confidence here to be able to do this with the Ace of Cups, right? Fully give you what you want. So I feel kind of like I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know what truly hold this person back. What was really holding this person back here? Because I feel like these are excuses. I don't know. A page of pentacles feels like an excuse. Oh, <laughs> what does that look like to you? What, what, who is that? You want it? Robert, if you don't start explaining who that is, we're going to have a problem. I'm going to have to call the police. Veronica, just let me tell you, just just calm down now. Yep. There might have been another person here. Could have even been somebody they were dealing with prior to you that they had pregnant. This person had something else growing here, okay? Their energy... Taurus, Libra, by the way, their energy, I feel, was elsewhere, okay? They were connecting maybe in some other place. Now, this person in the past, it's like they came to you for the loving and the caring and the nurturing. They may have been in a connection that felt a lot like this, the Five of Wands. So, you know, come into Leo, blah, 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 blah. But this person, I feel like they felt like like there was great opportunity with you, okay? Great opportunity with you to do something for themselves, okay? So I wouldn't uh, doubt if some of you would tell me I felt used by this individual, okay? Why the two of wands in reverse, the high priestess, and the three of wands? Yeah, of course, the hangman. You know... <sighs> You've let go of this, okay? You you you've just accepted this. This is you were not sure about this. You went from being sure to not sure to what the fuck just happened here, okay? This was a really big disruption for some of you. It put you in a state of feeling like you were, oh, like, and even they said this to you. Why are you attacking me? Why are you always attacking me? Well, motherfucker, I'm attacking you because you're forcing me to attack you, right? I get that. So for you, this is a huge stress relief in the current energy to, ha to have let this go. Okay, because I feel to some degree there could be somebody here who is literally physically abused and felt powerless in this connection. Okay, so you're re you're ready to go. All right, the high priestess, why is she here? We know she got them mysterious, them questionish. Okay, why is the high priestess here? Current energy. There it was. There it was. Uh huh. In the current energy, you're taking you're taking your spiritual lesson and making these changes in your life with this. Queen of Pentacles, practical stuff, okay? It's no longer this mystery. For some of you, you know, you were gaslit, right, into not trusting yourself. So now you're like, okay, but the biggest thing here is that I trust myself and I'm going to build off of 
what I know and I'm going to make changes and I'm going to re re mother re love me you know put the energy back into myself you know your greatest resource for some of you Leo is the fact that you are incredibly intuitive so you're no longer questioning this anymore okay I feel like in the current energy, it's not a mystery anymore why any of this happened. You're starting to really understand it and implement changes in your life because of it. Why is the Three of Wands here? What is Leo waiting for? Okay. A lot of you are maybe going on some sort of spiritual and or personal journey for yourself, okay? You're waiting for a lot of answers. And at this time, I feel like many of you might be single because you're sort of looking, this person might have brought, stewed up some stuff, brought up some stuff for you that is making you like, okay, why am I so not sure about things? Why did I go into this connection even if at some point I knew I wasn't sure about this connection? Why was I so sure that if I gave this person the benefit of the doubt that they were going to be able to show up the way I needed them to? And the thing is, is that, you know, we often try to make this page of pentacles way bigger than it is. But at the sign, when this started getting on the pause right with the hangman and this person seemed to you know only muster up the will and the courage and the energy to want to do things because you were the one doing the things or pushing them to it and at the point where it seemed like you were remothering this human being okay while you're here pouring out all of your love to them and you're only getting this tiny little page of pentacles is when you might have wanted to ask yourself a little more questions. So those of you who didn't do that are now, I feel like you're doing that now. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense, okay? You're looking for some answers here. But the answers are within, right? If you see the three of wands here, this is looking for the answers outside of you, waiting for some answer to come or to appear or to happen. But the hermit, Virgo energy, tells us that the answers are right here, okay? And you're starting to really tap into those. And the answer is we get to love ourselves in a different way. We all have a healing journey, okay? And I know people get pissed. I used to get so pissed and people would be like, you don't love yourself. And I'd be like, God damn it, I do. I get so mad. But then I'll tell you a quick short story. So in my own personal life, I was married and I was married to a man who was definitely, definitely my twin flame. And... Um, we couldn't make things work. It was very hard for us a lot of times. He was incredibly a demanding person. He was very, very old school Brazilian. Um, you know, I loved that man. Crazy Scorpio. I loved that man with my whole being, but sometimes your personalities are so different that it's hard, okay? And the point of my story was this, that... Um, <clears throat> sometimes you have to let relationships go, you know, uh, for the sake of both of you. And my life changed very drastically. I learned what the next level of love is when that man, five years after we divorced, and I still loved him, I was still in love with him. This was just two years ago in 2020, had a massive heart attack. And I held space for that man for two and a half months. He survived four more heart attacks and he eventually died. Um, God rest his beautiful soul. As crazy as that man made me, what it did was it took me to another level in loving myself that I didn't even know existed. And that is the gift in that person, no matter how hard that relationship was. And I know that when I talk to you guys, sometimes you're like, ah, rah, rah, rah. And you're mad about what happened but if we're able to change our perception here right and see things as the gift really explore that there's nothing outside of ourselves that we can find that's going to give us the type of love and the peace inside of ourselves i'm telling you my friends my loved ones my babies i love you so so much if you get that the next it's like unlocking the next level of the game you know what i'm saying so you know um anyway in saying that my point was 
exactly what I said. There's another level of love. And some of you may be finding that out now or you're about to find that out. I'm telling you. There's a whole other level. Woo, boy. When I hit that level, I was like, wow, this is pretty incredible. All right, let's talk about the near future now that I'm off my soapbox. <laughs> Why is the emperor here? The four of cups and death. What's coming? What's coming? Okay. Yeah, I feel you disconnecting from this person. Okay. Um, I feel that to some degree... Excuse me. I feel to some degree here. <sighs> you're disconnecting from it, not just this person, but an older version of yourself. Okay. There's this emperor that's happening. This is, this can indicate that there is a relationship here too, but I feel like you're disconnecting from this part of self where you were trying to make everybody fit you. Does that make sense? I don't, I, that's the only way it's coming to me. Four of Cups with the Temperance. You're healing old wounds from the past here in the future, okay? You are, um, I feel like you're, you're meeting somebody definitely, but you're creating this new energy, right? You're going next level here. You are, um, and what you're doing, you're protected in doing this. Okay. Because you, you, you've been taking your healing journey very seriously in the near future. You're disconnecting from this person. You are keeping them at a distance from you, but it's like sending them love. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this person may go on their own personal healing journey. Why is the four miles? Okay. Yeah, you're leaving, um, you know, you're making that final push of like your healing and rebalancing in your life here with the Ten of Wands. What's that death card, please? Yeah, you've got a new energy here with the Ace of Wands. You could be hooking up and hanging out or somebody. Some, some big ash wood. <laughs> All right, what else with this death card? For changing, you're feeling more motivated now for yourself. Okay, but I, I, I will say this if this is this person, okay, if this is this person, and we're talking about the future here. This person is realizing that they have done a lot of things in their life to try to be something that they are not, okay? And that may be part of the reason why this particular person acts the way they do. I'm going to get a couple of cards here. I feel I feel like, yeah, look at That's the first thing, denial not facing the truth, okay? There's something about this person I'm picking up that they're getting tired of themselves, Okay, they're getting tired of doing this. Nine of Swords, the Death card, and the Ace of Wands. As I said before, I feel as if you inspire this person. And by rejecting them a, a time here in the future, right? Rejecting their offer. It's forcing this person to really examine how they have uh, done things in their life, right? How they always are trying to impress people or, um, you know, I honestly feel what I'm getting, you know, what it's giving here, you do the work for me. I'll come and, you know, <laughs> there's a song by one of my favorite DJs. His name is Anthony B. Some of you might know him. I'm a, a reggae person. Um, he has this song called Raid the Barn. It's from, I think, his original album. And it says, nobody wants to plant the corn, but everybody wants to raid the barn, right? Who you, who are you going to blame things on when it's the next person that you depend on? It's hard to say when it's not. You have an on to patois. Nobody want to plant the corn. Everybody want to raid the barn, right? Who you are going to blame it on when it's the next man you are depend on? So it's like if there is no food, and you don't know how to make it yourself, you're going to sit here and blame other people. This is this energy that I get off of this individual, okay? Show me some more about this person in the near future. You're This person's going to seek some type of counseling here. I don't know why it's coming up as counseling, but it is. They're going to get help. Yeah, they're very focused. I told you they're watching you. I already said that. Okay, there's something about you that this person they can't let go of. Unquenchable, insatiable, they want more of you. 
okay? Because Leo, you have that energy to make people feel good, to make them um, feel like they're worth something, okay? But here's you, completed, lesson done, okay? I went that level, I'm finished. The lesson's over with and it's done, okay? Okay, this person could be, they may owe you some financial support, alimony, things like that, or they could owe this to somebody else. I'm not feeling the hugest strong part, third party, so this could only be for a couple of people, but part of what was interrupting this whole thing from growing anywhere, and this was real love at some point, was the fact that there was somebody else involved, okay? Now, the challenge is the Ten of Swords. Why is that? This is kind of like forgiveness, right? Yeah, two of cups. You know, you know why it's hard to let go? Do you know why? Because you really loved this person. Okay? But you know it's the ten of swords. It's betrayal. It's hurt. This, this is a challenge because at the end of the day, there's still that love. There's still that attraction. But there's still that logical because swords are our mind. They're the logical energy that's saying, fuck this. <laughs> right? Fuck this. This person, 10 swords. They didn't just do one thing. They've done many, 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 many. They have tried you over and over again, Leo. They tried you over and over again, okay? Okay. Mm. What did I say this was? Was this a potential outcome? I have no no okay that's there okay potential outcome yes my yes ma'am excuse me you hear her <laughs> okay you want to come here okay okay come come here I guess I guess lady wants to say hi hi you want to say hi say hi hi lady okay go on she always wants food. She's just over here like, food! <laughs> All right, the magician. Yeah. A lot of you, you're not making excuses for this person anymore. The potential outcome is that this person may very well, they may very well tell you what if they had secrets, right? If they were withholding information from you, they may very well tell you what that is. Seven of Swords in reverse. With the Magician, this person is going through changes or they're about to, okay? And they know if they want anything, they're gonna, they're, I feel literally the message I'm getting is I'm, 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 cleansing my soul here, right? I'm releasing myself from this because I can't hold this anymore. I feel like this person, they want to come back and they want to start divulging what's really going on with them um, because they're learning at this point and they know that thing, they might be getting karma right now too. And they know that if they release that stuff, it's no longer there again, okay? So even though you know, you may have had the experience of this person, you know, using you or something like that. It's, 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 they're doing it again, but they're trying to, I would say, <laughs> cleanse their own energy. Do you know what I'm saying? There's a part of them that feels like they need to do that. I feel like they're just telling it all, right? They're about to tell it all. Okay. But you're done. Your lessons learned. You're like, I'm good. Okay. This person just, they, they have this gimme, gimme, gimme energy. I don't like this. You know what I'm saying? FOMO and shit. They're just watching you. They're fascinated by you. Well, do something with yourself. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're a little bit obsessive, right? They're obsessive. Show me what else I need to see here. This person was in and out for some of you. They're definitely a player. Okay. Time to disconnect, retreat. A lot of you are have already disconnected from this person. You could be spending time by yourself. But I feel like this is just getting away from this altogether, okay? Your mind's pretty made up. Yeah, they want to reconcile for sure. They do. It says someone from your past is returning to your life. 
they may want to try to reconcile, but you're done with that. A lot of you are done. You're over it. Okay. Um, they're trying to make changes here, but they feel like they need to release the secrets and the lies that they've been with the information they've been withholding. Okay. They do. Person from your past is returning. Whether or not you reconcile, that's your business. Okay. But we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So if you want a, a new love, it's going to be available to you in the future. I can see that happening for you. But you have to decide that that's what you want. Okay. This person just, I, I just feel like Jesus dealing with them now. And they just want to cleanse their soul. They need, they need to get this off their chest, right? Like, okay, okay. What else? What else for Leo? We're almost done here, Leos. Thank you. Thank you for going this far and listening to my stories. What else? Yeah, addiction. I, I think I might have mentioned this codependency maybe for you or for them. There could be some addiction there. They could be possessive and all that stuff. And it says that codependent obsession, possession, controlling has a block a restraint. It's like they feel fucked up when they're not able to control people. Okay, maybe they have some issues going back to their childhood about that, right? And it's like they're they're upset because they cannot control you who's gonna excuse me um i'm trying to find somebody who's ever gonna control a leo no 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 we have the clock mm. you must not have heard you must not know about me Need time takes time in time cycles, time to heal progress. I feel like that's you, but I also do feel to some degree this person is trying to make progress in their life and that's part of the reason why they're coming back. I think they want to have you back in their life and they want to try to convince you, but I feel more like this person needs to get it off their chest, right? And we have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love, um, I don't definitely feel that for many of you when it comes to this connection. I feel like there is somebody. And part of the challenge is if you keep this person in your life, you might be sidetracking this two of cups, this potential union that you need to have with somebody if you can't let this go. Okay, so if you're separated from this person and this person wants to try to get back together, you're potentially keeping yourself from somebody who's going to treat you better. Okay, who's going to meet you where you're at. Because let me tell you something, fam, I love you guys, but nobody should be putting you through absorbent amounts of shit. I just posted this into my stories three lessons that I learned this year. And one of them is that people will definitely waste your time as long as you keep giving it to them. They will definitely, <laughs> it's, it's along those lines. Okay. So like when you know something's over, just let it be over. And I know that that's a tough thing. Okay. Because if you don't, they're keeping you from potentially getting what your heart truly desires and what you deserve. All right. So babies, I love you so much. That's what I have for you. I really hope this helped. Um, if it did, please make sure you smash the love button for your girl. Put your paws up top. Make sure you talk to me. Say hello. Say hello. I love talking to you guys. Um, and definitely don't forget to subscribe and come back. I'll see you later. Bye.